Hello everyone. Today the garden looking good and have very much vegetable ready to pick, and I will be collect some for our food today. The vegetable right now I'm collect is the mustard greens, and I already saw on the the garden video from another video, and I will be let the link for you can see it again if you're not watching yet. And this mustard green here. In Vietnam, they call many different type name. My family and where I'm come from, they call cải đắng because it had a taste of bitterness. And on all the flavor, they call like cải bẻ san because they have a green stem. On La Đà Nẵng people, they call cải cay because they feel spicy from the vegetable. But it actually not really spicy or. Bitterness very much. When I live in Saigon, people use it vegetable to eat with bánh xèo, and that's kind of very good. And here I'm have a Mr. Jerry, a Vietnamese crazy cat who like to be fly with flan and flower. He asking me to fly with him, and I don't know why he like fly with this. I don't know that be can be a toy for a cat, and he just let me hold for him, and he can fly. That's it. That's so weird, the guy. I also have a friend. Her parents live in Nha Bè District, and they have a little garden in their house, and they grow this vegetable a lot. And almost every week, she bring a big bag for me, and she sell. Ten thousand for one bag like that, and I eat like for some couple of day, and it I can just keep them in a bowl of water, and I just keep fresh for some couple of day, and that save me a lot of money for living in Saigon. And cooking this food get very easy. You can just cut them small, clean very good, and cook with water and some meat like pork or chicken. You get raw and. It will be very healthy and much the food in normal day will be better. So I just back from the market and buy some food for the breakfast. And I have some steamed thing rice pancake, some fried fish cake, and some bean sprouts. And this for the food with the vegetable, the mustard green today. He smells some fish, and he really want to have some. <laughs> I will go to clean the bean sprouts, and this is how I will be cook them for the food. I will be done cook them very much on the oven like no more time. This is the way it go, and that will be help them like already cooked but not too bad and I cut some fried fish case small like this so it's easier to be eat with the food and this we have everything like this with the food today I will be eat with mum name a Vietnamese prevented a chovy sauce and they made from macro fish and it's very good you know, fish sauce is already fairly strong, but Vietnamese fermented a joyvi sauce is a whole different <laughs> level of stink. So this how you eat this food. You pour a piece of the bánh ướt and you put the vegetable in the middle, and you just put everything else like the beans and the fish. And you wrap like a roll, just like this, and you just dip on the sauce, and you just eat. And it's actually very good. Some people maybe don't like the way it smells, but for me, that is very good sauce. I think that, it's very good sauce too. I think it's amazing. Yeah. With this food, after you eat, you maybe want to be have something out like fruit, candy, or everything that away the smell of the 
sauce so after you eat because it really stinks. Trust me, it stinks more than fish sauce, like you know. But it stinks in a good way. It's actually super delicious if you if it's used correctly. So it's um, it's definitely good. Even though it, it it does have a strong smell, maybe some people will be put off by the strong smell, but I think it smells great, and I think it tastes great. If you had a chance to go to Vietnam, you should try this. It's something maybe you like. And if you cannot stand on the smell of them, maybe try with the fish shot, the different type, maybe better. Thank you for watching Mambo Home. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.